There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Oh, your ass, Brody. I don't want to get your ass handed to you. Then he was the commander shepherd of their time. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing our last moments. Our failure. It wasn't a failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Shake my hand, bitch. Oh, that's gonna be it, man? Oh, oh, I see, I see. Man, what a fucker. <laughs> that's why I never did like Javik. He's a much of a, he's a stubborn asshole. I mean, I can understand the fact that, you know, oh, my people are fucked up and shit. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. <laughs> Loading. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What is he doing now? Probing people? <laughs> Probing. That's a good one. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. Let's be careful. We can trust him. His face says it all. That ugly ass face. <laughs> At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. 
The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which? There's a message from Mass Effect 1. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. He sounds like a beetle, doesn't he? I was a soldier, not a scientist. Sweet. Skilled in one art. Killing. Then you're my friend. What was your mission? <laughs> Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? Vengeance. The embodiment of vengeance. There we go. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. <laughs> nice. That's hardcore. That's a complete renegade. <laughs> That's extreme. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dry. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. Fine, you got me there, you asshole. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Oh god, here, here we comes. go. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. What do you wish to know? Mass conversations! Your sensor ability. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. What about the damn beacons? I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. What about this room? So could you read something about this room? This is cool, y'all. This is real cool. There was liquid. A form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. 
He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Brian. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> and if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Conversations! Prothean civilization. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And God, can you tell me about your religious activated. beliefs? Or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. Nice, but that, b but before that. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. How oh, nice. You mean slavery? Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. Like Geth. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? <laughs> For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Uh, your mission. Back on Eaton Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. See, that's a uh, that's a key that's a key uh, that's a key thing about um about Mass Effect indoctrination. It's very big now, man. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option, you would have joined our army. Or face the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. <laughs> I think. Uh, conversations, Prothean device. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Prothean war with the Reapers. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. We met Vigil on Ilos. I remember that bastard. He's like... He just helped us delay it. That's it. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. Wow. <laughs> if our scientists did have a research facility, Fucking old. whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. 
was captured long before I was born. How did you fight the Reapers? With the Death Star! How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why did you lose? Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Mm, I think that's it. All right. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Bitch. Oh. To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. <laughs> I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Nice name. Though I still need time to recover. The shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. Cool. Let me talk with them again. So much has been lost. So much has changed. <laughs> Particle rifle one. Yet the Reapers are still here. For me, I'm recovering my strength. I require more time for this to wear off. Okay. Alright, let's go talk with people because usually whenever there's a mission done, there's always new stuff. Seen our newest crew member. You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? So yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automat on cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. <laughs> Nothing to report, Commander. Okay. Oh, right, let's head to engineering. I mean, shuttle bay. Who the fuck am I already am here? Recording from Ferris oh. Fields months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. Oh, your wife. What? I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. Let's just be friends, okay? <laughs> I'm alright with people being, you know, gay, but let's just be friends, okay? Let's just stay as friends. You watched him get taken? You were talking to him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Remember that he cared. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. 
I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. I'm here for you, buddy. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. Buddies. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Yep, just buddies. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What's up? I still can't believe it. A real live Prothean. <laughs> Doc must be over the moon. You could say that. I hear the guys... Sounds like the Turians got hit pretty hard by the Reapers. So, the Turians want us to go find one of their politicians, huh? Nice to see we're being put to good use. <laughs> well, maybe we'll get to kick some Reaper ass while rescuing the Primarch. I'll bet the elusive man's boiling in his brandy right about now. Took that Prothean right out from under him. Hey. Doggy! Hey Stay. there. Uh, I think that's it. Alright, let's, um... Crew deck. Alright, uh, let's see, uh... You know what I didn't do? I didn't talk with Liara. That's a bummer. Whoa. Holy shit, this place is packed. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Okay. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans finish it? Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. I just wish our Prothean knew more about how dangerous their weapon might be. Agreed. Ah, fuck that. It's the Death Star! It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. I appreciate you asking, Teddy Bear. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Where the fuck would she go? Oh. Hello again, Shepard. Conversations, Prothean device. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. Conversation, the information drone. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyphs interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. Conversations, being the child broker. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship. 
Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? Why is my neck still I moving to the other side? Coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. How'd you get away? What Am I looking the other way? <laughs> Sending the broker ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Neither did I. Don't mind me, I'm just looking in the other direction because there's something more interesting over there. Is that a bar? Who is that? Can you still operate as the broker? <laughs> the <ship? laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on That's their That's interesting. Uh, look over there. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. What happened to Farron? Not that I give a shit, because something's very interesting over there. <laughs> so where is Farron? Oh, there we go. You escaped? Oh, uh. <laughs> he convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Hmm. What's new? What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans oh, yeah, were the only ones there. with substantial information on them. <laughs> the older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive we're man was hunting for the same thing. thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? <laughs> I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. <laughs> this is so sketchy. Later. We'll talk later, Miara. My neck hurts. Of course. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. The University of Syracuse agreed to a spa sponsor me at the Prothean Dig. Uh, very exciting. Professor Helen is heading the expedition herself. Maybe I can even ask her for her opinion on my thesis online. Prothean notes. The things that Protheans must have seen, if they had the technology to preserve someone over 50,000 years or one they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess, when we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization. <laughs> Operative Farron from the Shadowburg. I made contact with eh, the local his face was priceless. He's not happy you put me in charge of scouting the terminus system, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. Have you seen somebody pirate on Merck's edge? The black markets are unreliable, and it's getting harder to make contact with the suppliers. The alliance won't be able to relay, won't to, won't be able to rely on its source of crucible matter materials for long if things get worse. Some of our other operatives think we should cut our losses now, but I think, but I just keep asking them, what did the odds ever stop? When did the odds ever stop the broker, Baron? <laughs> Yes, I hope you got our little friend Droney to stop saying shadow and broker out loud at the same sentence to anyone in the site. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have? Weapon kit upgrade. This field kit can be used for one time upgrade to, to a variety of weapons to increase ammo capacity or potential damage dealt. What do I want? In increase ammo capacity or weapon damage? I want ammo capacity. Remains of Reaper dro Destroyer. To avoid the risk of indoctrination, remote drones have been sent to study the salvage remains of a Reaper Destroyer. The drones can dig under the outer hull, scanning circuits for technology that would increase at the speed of which tech, uh, tech biotic and combat abilities can be fired. Alter alternatively, the Council has offered a citadel-wide merchant discount for choosing the safer option and demolishing the remains. Yeah, I go for discounts. Thank you. 5% discounts? Sure, no problem. Armor, mo uh, armor mod mod kit. Farron has pursued, persuaded this context to ship an armor mod kit to the Normandy. Technically illegal in Citadel space, the kit's Omni Gel Converter and manu Manufacturing Fabricator can make one-time modification to Shepard's armor, improving shield strength or adding thermal clip components. Shield strength bonus, thank you. Upgrades. Alright, that's it. Sweet. Please, enjoy your day. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Alright. Wait. Commander. Oh, okay. She doesn't give a shit. Hold up, y'all. Alright.
right. Okay, okay. We're back.